The United States of America is a beautiful and diverse country with a wide range of landscapes from rugged mountains to vast deserts and fertile plains. However, this diversity comes with a price. The country is plagued by frequent natural disasters, ranging from hurricanes and tornadoes to floods and wildfires. These disasters cause significant damage to the infrastructure, economy, and lives of the people who live there. So why does America struggle with natural disasters? Is it purely a matter of geography, or are there other factors at play? Could it be a result of climate change, outdated infrastructure, or inadequate planning? In today's video, we'll talk about some of the reasons why America is so prone to natural disasters. But before we start, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected. So without further ado, let's get started. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are one of the most destructive natural disasters that impact America. They are intense tropical storms that form over warm ocean waters and can cause widespread damage and destruction when they make landfall. America's location in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico puts it in the direct path of many hurricanes, making it particularly vulnerable to these powerful storms. The warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico provide the perfect breeding ground for hurricanes. As the warm air over the water rises, it creates a low-pressure system that draws in more warm, moist air from the surrounding area. As this air rises, it cools and condenses, forming clouds and precipitation. This process creates a feedback loop that fuels the hurricane's growth and intensity. The United States is particularly vulnerable to hurricanes because it sits in the path of many of these storms as they move across the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. When a hurricane makes landfall, it can cause significant damage to infrastructure, homes, and businesses. It can also cause widespread flooding, power outages, and other disruptions to daily life. Some of the most devastating hurricanes in American history include Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Sandy, and Hurricane Harvey. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina made landfall on the Gulf Coast, causing massive flooding and destruction in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. The storm caused over 1,800 deaths and $125 billion in damage, making it one of the costliest natural disasters in American history. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy struck the East Coast, causing widespread flooding and power outages in New York and New Jersey. The storm caused over 230 deaths and $65 billion in damage, making it the second costliest hurricane in American history. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey made landfall in Texas, causing catastrophic flooding and widespread damage. The storm caused over 100 deaths and $125 billion in damage, making it the costliest hurricane in American history, surpassing Hurricane Katrina. Cold Waves As winter descends upon America, frigid temperatures can sweep across the country, bringing with them the threat of cold waves. These extreme weather events can cause widespread disruption, damage, and even loss of life. While cold waves may not be as well known as hurricanes or tornadoes, they are a significant natural hazard that America must prepare for. Cold waves occur when Arctic air masses move southward into areas that are typically much warmer. As the cold air mixes with moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, it can create conditions for snow, sleet, and freezing rain. These storms can cause power outages, transportation disruptions, and damage to homes and businesses. Unfortunately, America's lack of preparation for extreme cold weather has made it particularly vulnerable to cold waves. Many homes and buildings are not well insulated, and heating systems may not be designed to withstand sustained periods of extremely low temperatures. As a result, when a cold wave strikes, the impact can be severe. One notable example of a cold wave that impacted America was the polar vortex of 2014. This event brought record-breaking cold temperatures to much of the eastern United States, with wind chills dipping as low as minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit in some areas. The extreme cold caused power outages, transportation disruptions, and numerous deaths. Another example is the Texas cold wave of 2021. In February of that year, a cold wave swept across Texas, bringing snow, ice, and record low temperatures. The state was ill-prepared for such an extreme weather event, and the resulting power outages and water shortages left millions of people without basic necessities for days. 
Tornadoes While tornadoes can occur anywhere in the world, the United States is particularly prone to these dangerous weather events, with an average of 1,200 tornadoes occurring each year. So, what causes tornadoes? Essentially, a tornado is created when warm, moist air collides with cooler, drier air. When these two types of air meet, they create instability in the atmosphere, which can lead to the formation of a rotating column of air known as a vortex. If the conditions are right, this vortex can intensify and form a funnel-shaped cloud that descends from the sky, creating a tornado. One of the reasons why the United States is particularly susceptible to tornadoes is its location in the heart of Tornado Alley. This region, which includes parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and South Dakota, is characterized by warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico, colliding with cold, dry air from the north. The resulting instability in the atmosphere creates the perfect conditions for tornado formation. While tornadoes can occur at any time of year, they are most common in the spring and early summer, when the clash of warm and cold air masses is at its strongest. And while tornadoes are generally short-lived, lasting only a few minutes in most cases, they can cause significant damage in a very short amount of time. Over the years, tornadoes have caused significant damage to communities across America. One of the most devastating tornadoes in recent history was the Joplin Tornado, which struck Joplin, Missouri on May 22, 2011. This EF5 tornado, the strongest category of tornado, caused 161 deaths and over $2 billion in damages. The tornado was on the ground for over 22 miles and had a width of over a mile at some points. Other notable tornadoes include the Tuscaloosa-Birmingham tornado, which struck Alabama in 2011, causing 64 deaths and over $2 billion in damages, and the Moore, Oklahoma tornado in 2013, which killed 24 people and caused over $2 billion in damages. Despite the devastating impacts of tornadoes, there are measures that communities can take to minimize their risk. One of the most important steps is to have a plan in place for severe weather events. This can include having a designated safe room or shelter where residents can take cover during a tornado, as well as having emergency supplies and communication devices on hand. Communities can also invest in tornado warning systems, such as sirens or smartphone alerts, which can give residents early warning of approaching storms. Additionally, building codes can be updated to ensure that new construction is more resilient to high winds, and existing buildings can be retrofitted to make them more secure. Snow and Desert Snow and desert might seem like opposite ends of the weather spectrum, but in America, they both have the potential to wreak havoc on people's lives. From record-breaking snowfalls in the Northeast to devastating wildfires in the arid Southwest, these natural disasters pose unique challenges for Americans living in these regions. In the Northeast, heavy snowfall can cause a range of problems for both individuals and businesses. Road closures, power outages, and property damage are just a few of the issues that can arise from a major snowstorm. The infamous blizzard of 78 inches that hit the northeastern United States is a prime example of how snow can have catastrophic consequences. The storm caused 100 deaths and more than $1 billion in property damage, leaving thousands of people stranded without power or access to basic necessities. Meanwhile, in the desert southwest, wildfires pose a different kind of threat. The combination of hot, dry conditions and high winds can quickly turn a small fire into a raging inferno that can consume everything in its path. In 2020, California experienced some of its most severe wildfires on record, with over 4 million acres burned and 31 fatalities. These wildfires not only threaten people's homes and livelihoods, but also pose a significant risk to public health due to the hazardous smoke they produce. Conclusion America's diverse geography contributes to a range of natural disasters that can have devastating impacts on people and communities, from tornadoes in Tornado Alley to snowstorms in the Northeast and wildfires in the desert Southwest, it is important for Americans to be prepared and aware of the risks posed by these extreme weather events. By investing in infrastructure and preparedness measures and by raising awareness of the risks of natural disasters, America can better protect its citizens from the impact of these unpredictable forces of nature.
What do you think are the most important actions individuals and governments can take to prevent the impact of natural disasters in the future? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. We will meet you soon in a new video. Until then, stay happy and take care of yourself.